This is going to be an important video for you. When you plan to start email sequences and I did not said if, I said when because at some point you need to be getting into the game of, let me put this over here. At some point, for example, if you just join the community, the Academy of Art and Scientists, or maybe you are building a superpower, or maybe you are creating the courses, but you need to know one thing very, very, very open in mind that you need to be working on your email sequences at one point, the moment you start getting into the tools and you want to start doing webinars, because emails is one of the most most impactful way of reaching out to people from your end and asking people to register, to watch this, to do this, like this. you cannot just go and knock the doors and do that, but then knocking the door is this emails. It can, you can have like 0% show up rate, you can have maybe 3% show up rate, maybe you can have like 10% open rate, whatever that is, but then emails has to be, a, email plays an important role in what you're doing in this online mode. Thank you so much for joining this one video, we're going to talk about seven email sequences you need to be having, you need to be having now. Why did I say beginner friendly, beginner version is because you will be having multiple lists and sequences over a period of time okay i don't want to confuse that but when you for the first time when you are launching a webinar for the first time running advertisements for the first time doing webinars for the first time doing a sales speech for the first time probably fifth time or probably tenth time whatever that is but then you're doing something for the first time okay when you do it for the first time you need to be now this is the business it's like you open a shop you open a grocery shop you open a provisional shop and you've got like shelves here and shelves here so treat the shelves like the business tools that you've got and the mails is like the stock that you've got you cannot be writing mails you cannot be you cannot be taking orders from people okay the biscuit is not here right now but I'm going to give the biscuit tomorrow to you. We cannot be operating that way. You need to have, when someone gives you an order, you need to be having biscuits right here. now. in terms of, not products, in terms of emails. So what do I mean by that? Bad cold, pathetic cold, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for bearing the cold with me. Like stop, no stuff like that. When you start your business and when people start getting into your list, when you start running advertisements, you need to be directing people in so many different directions and that direction will dictate through emails so the seven sequences that you need to be working on i have done a lot of sessions on this one talking about in talking from different perspective of how to nurture them what do you send them what is the framework of it what is the automation workflow of it i've kind of done all that and now i'm like okay this is the seven sequences if someone would have said me back there's like for the unit have seven sequences to start off you will probably make that three lakh five lakh ten lakh rupees initial cash flow this is going to help you seek the 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 first sequence that you need to be having is the cold sequence. Let me write it for you. Visual learning. Huh? The first thing is you need to be having cold sequence. Now, cold sequence is someone who has, a, who has, who has, who saw your advertisement, who got into your list, who got into your funnel, who left e name, email ID, name, phone number and who showed genuine interest of, should, should have shown genuine interest for being a part of your masterclass, a part of your workshop, a part of your webinar, but they don't know who you are. They just showed the interest of what you're teaching them. Okay. So those, that category is called audience. That category who doesn't know you, who doesn't know what you do, but now they are interested to learn more about you, who are interested to see what you're doing, who are interested to learn from what you're doing, the tactical part, the strategical part, the, the mindset that you've got, the psychology that you use, the ideology that you have, so that they want to learn something from you and they want to become successful at what you're doing. For example, if you're great at doing mixed martial arts and they want to learn mixed martial arts from you, but they don't know where to start, you're, that's where they registered for your webinar. They registered for your workshop. They registered for your masterclass, right? So that is the cold audience. Like you need to have, you need to be specifically talking to that audience in a specific direction, in a specific way. What do you have to send them today? The moment they registered, what do you have to send them the next? What do you have to send fifth day? What do you have to send them tenth day? So I've done a session on this one. If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to give you the name of that video. You can do the window shopping. Where is that? Like the textbook that I've got. How to nurture your cold audience. Four set step process 
the sequence just type cold audience in the keyword research you'll be able to find that cold audience okay so what you have to send them already the video is recorded edited as well as uploaded so you can click that you can watch that second second sequence that you need to be having is now second sequence is warm sequence the second sequence is more on the lines so of now they have interacted with you they know who you are they know what you do they have seen your youtube videos they have listened they have heard your podcast but they have also attended they have also attended your session the workshop that you were doing the webinar that you were doing but for some reason they were not able to complete the session they were not able to complete the webinar they had they had left maybe say 30 minutes down the line 40 minutes down the line 45 minutes down the line they couldn't even sit for your sales speech that you were making they were not they did not become a part of your community because they, did, they eventually did not sit for like more than 45 minutes maybe for so many reasons maybe the kid was crying maybe they had food maybe their friends came but maybe they had a call maybe had a, they, they had an emergency maybe they were like two spiders fighting and they were like distracted by the spiders whatever that is whatever that is they left it that is a category of warm audience now since they have attended they know what you are speaking now you need to be talking to this category differently so the second sequence that we had was warm let me call it warm sequence okay the third sequence let me go back to the screen is obviously by this time you know the hot sequence now hot sequence talks more on the lines of people who have sat for the whole session for 90 minutes 120 minutes whatever that is they have sat for the whole webinar that you did they sat for the whole sales speech that you did they know what you're selling they know what you're selling for they know what's the price of this amount they know how many people got converted they know the way you do things they know they are aligned with what you're doing this they might not be aligned with you or they know exactly what your community stands for they know they know what you're going to offer them next so they have sat for the whole period of time and they still did not bought that course they did not got on the other side of the community they did not got the other side of the fence and got and became a part of the community for whatever reason they did not had money they did not have time they they, uh, they are not planning to do that maybe they were just sitting in your webinar just to see how you do things so that they can learn from you but uh, they were also curious of what you're going to say maybe it's an old friend of yours who was very curious to sit with you be a part of your webinar and see it's like huh this guy's changed okay okay yo yo you're also selling me something huh okay so they're kind of critting you they're kind of judging you they're not saying anything to you but then they're silent beings of that particular session they don't buy it anyway let's consider let's consider this category they sat for 90 minutes and they were not able to afford your program okay let's keep aside all other thoughts and let's say okay hot audience is someone who got who became who were very interested not just interested they were starting to learn not just learn they were starting to take notes but then when you made the sales pitch and even after the sales pitch when by, by the time you're closing the con they were a part of your session just because they did not have money they could not afford what you were selling they couldn't come into the community now let's assume that that's the hot audience and what do you need to be talking to them next goes in that hot sequence of yours it's like okay it's okay it's okay that you're not able to become a part of the community i totally understand life is difficult my financial crisis what we're going through but i want to help you more and then you talk to that that particular category in a different i've gone i've did a session on this one i'm going to i'm not going to talk about the depth of it where the hot six like what you send to hot sequence like you can type the keyword hot sequence i've got like a set of four four to five set of sequences that i've talked about in depth you can go ahead watch that video learn from it take notes and start sending them those email sequences so that's the hot sequence that i've got step number four the sequence number four that we have is the we call it the rm reminders now reminders is more on the lines of if you're doing a session on 6 p.m today you send them something six hours back you send them something three hours back you send them 15 hours 15 minutes back you send them five minutes through the session so reminder mails talks more on the lines of okay it's it's just it's just going to be plain and simple a formal reminder to them like okay you've at, you have registered for this one session okay the times is this one the link is this one we are going to talk about this one i am so excited to see you in that one particular session i am so looking forward to meeting an introvert because an introvert is someone who has got so much of potential in them and the world needs to see and how can you create course acquisition around that how can you create how do you find your school superpower and how can you create the core digital product that you've got and start making that income and start helping people out in with the greatest powers that you've got and leveraging that greatest powers that you've got 
and converting that into a business in you know, a monetary terms like that so the reminders are plain and simple where you send them a reminder okay a reminder reminder is like reminder is equal to reminder you send them a reminder talking about like we've got a session in the evening looking forward to meet you that's all the four sequences and the quite some follow ups also comes over here in this one part of it the fifth one is level 1 now this is going to be an important sequence most of the people don't have the sequences the most people that i have interacted with like more than 3 to 500 3 to 500 one to one that i have done nobody has the next 5 6 and 7 sequence that we talk about nobody has that they don't even know about this they don't they're not even aware of this one and no matter how much i talk to them this is something that i've learned from interacting with so many people is they don't have this one and then don't give importance to this one as that's where this is going to be a very crucial part of this one video if you don't have this one it's going to be difficult for you to grow in this industry and in the journey that you are on to so please make sure that you pay close attention to these three lists and be with them bro fifth list that you'll be having is list from level 1 member let's call it the level 1 member sequence the l1 member sequence now what do i mean by level now they're already converted now why do you need to have a list for them they have paid you money now why do you have to have a list for them they have you have already got the money they have the products they have the courses then now why do you have to need the sequence for them you know why because this sequence is going to give them uh, an extra handhold support in this one sequence you are going to eliminate them from audience and putting them into the paid member category point number 1 point number 2 is you are going to set you are going to give them a welcome sequence welcome kit sort of a thing where you give them instructions of how things are going to be you are going to tell them okay i am going to send you daily mails for certain number of days because you have invested in something and i want to be a part of your journey and i want to handhold you and i'm going to give you you just don't have to go and watch the course but then i am going to give you a daily link okay this is what you have to be watching today this is what you have to be watching today this you're going to give them you're going to set an automated sequence for them for like maybe 10 days 15 days 20 days how the long the course is going to run so that daily basis they are being reminded okay this is supposed to be done this is supposed to be done this is supposed to be done that's level 1 members now level 1 is more on the lines of what the low ticket product that you've got let's say 500 rupees 1000 rupees 2000 rupees level 2 member sequence is more on the lines of people who have paid you 5000 rupees 7000 rupees now they have paid they have invested even more in what you are doing now you need to be being them for them being there for them even more because now that invested in it it becomes a moral responsibility slash moral obligation like grand cut is a moral obligation where you need to be being you need to be setting a sequence for them say the the level 2 member sequence in the community in the academy of fine scientists is the core business game plan now the core business game plan if you cover if you complete it in two end, it takes like 16 days dot 16 days dot now if you were if you're very fast with the learning pace as well as implementing it'll take you 16 days but if you are taking notes and if you're taking time if you're doing different things it'll take more than 30 days as well but then if you finish it on point it's 16 days so i have said the level 2 member sequence of 16 days where on a daily basis you do this one phase you watch this one video you 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 be a part of this one group that i created for you you be a you do this today you watch that video this is something that have helped me listen you send them 16 mails 16 day sequence on a daily basis so that you are holding them accountable on a daily 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 basis they just need not in, invested in one another course that is there in the world today they have invested in your community they need to feel that when you go to an when you go to a cool little restaurant versus when you go to a normal restaurant the way you go inside you feel ah this is a great restaurant altogether when you go to a normal restaurant it's like okay you just go there have food and come back there's a huge difference there was this one restaurant that that i've been a couple of weeks back say two months back where that restaurant was a normal restaurant but then that restaurant was so 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 cool for me that i was like okay i'm going to give this 10 on 10 just because of the feel the experience the ambience of it 
people need to feel that when they get inside your community people need to feel that when they invest in the course and they should feel that this is not this is not just another course that i've invested in this is going to change the way i do things this is what this is what this is what this is what is going to help me become the greatest swimmer ever this this is going to make me the greatest calligraphy writer ever calligrapher ever this is going to make me the greatest mma fighter mma practitioner ever they have to have that that one feeling email is one part of it okay sequence number 7 is also talks about is not also talks about it is the different part of it and that's the monstrous three in the way okay level 3 is the higher level program where you've got level 3 level they go from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 here now is one of the lines of action maybe 30 days maybe 45 days maybe 60 days whatever that is keep it to 30 days that works that's an ideal conversion rate happens so with it so having it in 30 days you bring them in a different sequence now in this sequence also was the same common thing that you're going to do is send them mails on a daily basis now since this is generally for 30 days you send them 30 days emails like today you do this today you tomorrow you do this. see you tomorrow you are going to do this so on a daily basis you send them a sequence and in between you also give them breaks like today you don't have to work you don't have to do you don't have to, this today is going to be a rest day today is going to be a stretching day i don't want to take breaks but then instead of breaks you're going to do you're going to have active breaks instead of doing hit on a daily basis you will do small 3 minutes hit again you're going to do it today as well but after 3 minutes the next 17 minutes is just for your stretching day is just for your you you relaxing your muscles how do you relax your muscles i've got a video for you like that so active breaks not just breaks breaks but then active breaks so that brings us to the conclusion of this seven email sequences in like last 17 minutes cold sequence warm sequence hot sequence reminder sequence level 1 member sequence level 2 member sequence level 3 member sequence hope this helps hope this makes a lot of sense to you because if not this if i don't had this back in the day if if i did not had this back in the day and this made life so hard for me to figure out what i was doing i'm sorry the video that you watch is just me having a conversation with you like that so if 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 i'm having running nose i'm having conversation with if i'm having bad cold again we are not sitting phys- on a physical distance but then on a, on a virtual distance it is completely cool no infection passed but then the value is being passed so treat all these videos like you are having conversation with me because that's the way that's the intention that i hold like i'm just having conversation with you no edit no editing part of it no cool animation just you got to see me you see this you see this you see this you see this that means thank you so much for being a part of this one video and make thank you so much for making me this not being a part of it i'm going to see you in an another exciting video thanks so much